I'm here on step 21 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design certificates fourth course, Learn HTML Forms by Building a Registration Form. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make our password requirement a little bit more specific. Instead of just making a minimum length of eight, we can actually use something called a regular expression by using this pattern attribute to say exactly what we want. So what we're going to our requirement for this password is that um, we want to use um, allow letters A through Z. So we're going to do A through Z. And then we also are going to say it's OK to use numbers 0 through 5. Um, and so that means, I guess, no special characters right here for whatever this use case is. Um, this is not what you would actually want to do for a real password, but this is just for the example. And then we want to use at least eight characters. So we'll do eight comma and then it can have it can be as long um, as it wants to be, and so that's why we don't need the min length min length anymore because it's it's covered right here by just that. Okay, so now we're just gonna add three labels. Okay, and so now we're gonna um, we're gonna add radio buttons. The first two labels are gonna be radio buttons. So we're gonna create an input that uh, slash is uh, not necessary, but Free Code Camp seems to like it. And then we will specify radio as the type of input we're adding. So we'll just copy. Oops. I'm just gonna copy this. Paste it oops, right there. There we go. We have two radio buttons. OK, for this next step, we are going to add a checkbox for the last step. This is going to be for the terms and conditions. And because there's no alternative, it's not, instead of saying, have you read the terms and conditions and have yes or no, as options, we could just say have a checkbox, um, and um, instead of using a radio button where it's one or the other, it's just checkbox where it's either checked or it's not. Which doesn't, which means we don't have to have a yes or a no. It can just be this checkbox. So we'll set the type to checkbox, and we want to make sure everyone has read the terms and conditions before they submit the form. So we're going to require this, um, make this element required. So now we're going to actually add some text that will um, make it clear what each button is for. And so if I just paste this personal account right there, it's a little bit squished. So they want us to add a space right there between the end of the input and the, the text. There we go. All right. And so we want to make sure that these radio buttons, they can't be clicked at the same time. It's one or the other. It's either a personal account or a business account. It can't be both at the same time or it can't be none. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, add a name. And so this name has to be the same for both. This way, now we can only select one. It's one or the other, now that they're linked with that name attribute. OK. And we want to make sure people are actually able to read the terms and conditions. We can't just have them check the box and have nowhere where they could have read it. So we're going to add a link around the, the word terms and conditions. We're going to add href to this link. Next, we're going to allow users to um, add a profile picture and choose a file from their computer. So the first thing we're going to do is create that label. And we're going to use the text, upload a profile picture. And then we're going to add an input. And this input's type will be file. This is new. So if you look at that file um, right here, we can actually just click Browse. And it pulls up this prompt where you can choose a file from your computer. 
um, because I'm on Mac, it looks like this, but depending on your operating system, it will, whatever file, um, the way that you pick files in your computer, that's what will come up. And then next, um, we wanna make sure we're gonna add an, an age um, requirement because um, here we're, I guess, allowing only people 13 years to 120 years to sign up or register using our form. So we're gonna just add the text, input your age in years. Gotta make sure, delete that. Um, yeah, there we go, good. I thought it was gonna copy this period right here, but it didn't, which is good. Um, and then we need an input. So, and we only want numbers because it, we're asking for age in years. So we're requiring it to be a number. Okay, so you can see this little counter thing came up. And we also wanna specify the minimum age, which is 13. So now it should start counting from 13, there we go. And then for our maximum age, it will be 120. So let's, it lets us do 121, but I don't think it'll let us, um, it doesn't let us count up actually over 120. We can input it, but I don't think it will let us submit. Finally, we're gonna add somewhere where you can select different options. And it's gonna have five different options. We're going to just copy and paste those. You can see here, we have a drop-down menu. We can choose from five options. We just haven't given them names yet. 